those of us are welcome back to another Paul Master video. So since it's the holiday season, and you know the 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 time of the year where capitalism decided to turn people's you know cultures and traditions into like a massive shopping season, unfortunately, uh, you know in that spirit, uh, I'll have my own little uh, let's let's do our own little sort of holiday wish list as well, right? And this wish list is, is, is more, uh, it's not so much like my, my wish list, but more so like what I think could probably work with some of these uh, Pokefair Grid expansions, right? So we did our video already on the spotlights before, and now let's do one on Pokefairs, which Pokefairs, as opposed to spotlights, there's a few differences. Uh, it's not just, oh, they're Pokefairs because they're different. Well, there, there are some actual differences because like outside of like Cynthia, and I think... If you want to count Sing Soup Blue, although his is like different, because like his his grid got immediately buffed. Like after he dropped, like was it even like a month? And then like boom, because everyone was hating on the kit, because the kit it wasn't like diabolically bad. It wasn't like you know completely unusable, but it was pretty bad for what people were expecting in terms of like oh the big hype first year anniversary Kanto you know trio whatever. And then like okay, his kit comes out, and it's like. Okay, he's really slow. His buffs are pretty bad. <laughs> can't, he can't heal himself. This and that. Whatever. And, 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 you know, people, people got slightly upset, so they, they buffed his grid. So they did horizontally expand it. So, yeah, uh, most spotlights, well, not most spotlights, all spotlights that they've had ex a grid expansion so far are the horizontal grid expansions with the 2 out of 5, 3 out of 5 node expansions, uh, but also Cynthia and Sinks of Blue. Uh, but all the Pokefairs after that, have been the vertical four out of five, five out of five grid expansions. So we'll we'll talk about those right uh, possibilities over here, and yeah, uh, let's just let's just uh, let's not go through every single poke fear because like I, I highly doubt they're gonna like you know ex re expand uh, this guy's grid <laughs> anytime soon. They'll probably do it eventually, but like you know not anytime soon, right? So let's let's probably stop at Raihan because. Raihan is the one that they've done like the furthest so far in terms of like release date. Also, I feel like Raihan is a pretty good um, point in terms of like everything before Raihan. Well, maybe not everything, but like a lot of units before Raihan probably could get a bit more help uh, in terms of expanded grids. And most units after Raihan, it's like, you know, you got like the, the train bros are still pretty good, right, at the moment. And then like Lear, obviously, and like. Like, even, like, Classic Blue is still solid enough that, yeah, obviously, um, Red as well. Uh, they don't, like, they don't really need grid expansions, and then you get into, like, units from, like, this year. Like, does Dojo Glory really need another grid expansion right now? <laughs> right? So, uh, maybe there's, like, one <laughs> or two that you could say after it really, you know, could have a grid expansion right now. But, but yeah, let's just stop at Raihan. So, basically... From Lance, the first Pokefair, up till the 1.5 year anniversary, you know, Pokefairs, right? So, alright, let's let's get into this, uh, starting with Lance over here. So, it, when you look at, like, the list of Pokefairs, and you're looking like, okay, who really needs a grid expansion? Lance would be pretty high up on that list. I wouldn't say he's, like, the top one, because, like, the problem with Lance, like, Lance is a good enough unit at the moment with you know dragon zone he has really 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 good dps right like his dps is, is not an issue uh, but like if you want to talk about grids he might have the second worst grid on here right i'd say the worst grid is probably someone else but i mean it's a, the, you could you could compare them you might say you know lance's lance's grid is even worse but lance has a lot of issues that he needs to fix right lance is kind of like um n right uh lance has a lot of similar issues with n like n and lance both had like solid dps or, or not even solid just good enough dps right um even before his uh even before n's good expansions dps was fine right? and obviously lance's dps is, is, is more than fine right with the again dragon's own hyper beam all that stuff uh but they both had like a lot of issues elsewhere and lance has a lot of them that his grid does not fix at all at all like Again, your grid doesn't, like, it, there are units that also don't have good grids. Like, for example, Singsu Red's grid. Not that Singsu Red's grid is, like, bad, per se, but it's not, like, anything crazy good. Obviously, Haymaker existing is, is, is really nice, but, you know, 
Now, like, for example, yeah, again, like, Sings of Red's grid isn't, like, crazy good, right? But it's fine because his base kit, you know, he, he could... He basically gets everything he really needs on his base kit. Uh, minus, obviously, his sync is not that good if you don't have a Haymaker, which is why, you know, he got Haymaker and Solar Fire 5 as well, right, on, on his grid. But, um, yeah, his grid just has, like, nothing, man. Um, th there's a few big issues with Lance. Number one, self-sufficiency. This guy has zero, like, literally, I there's definitely no striker in the game. Like, I would even say, include even if you include Eggmons, I don't think there's a single striker in the game that has zero self-buffs outside of this guy, right? Uh, there's a few, like, tech damage healers that don't have any, like, offensive self-buffs, right? But, but like, in terms of strikers, not that I've looked through them, but I could almost very confidently say <laughs> this guy hasn't, is the only unit, you know, that doesn't have any offensive self-buffs. Even, like, New Year's Lance has a bit, right? Like, straight up, nothing, nothing in his base kit, and then, like, nothing on the grid, like... Yeah, it's like, build up and burst in, no, these are not, okay, Mad Strength 2 on Dragon Claw. All right, sorry Lance. Okay, you don't completely have any, but uh, there's a few things with a few issues with this one um, useless <laughs> buffs physical attack two You would never use it like you have this hyper beam machine that does so much DPS Why would you spend turns clicking on dragon claw? When you could be hyper beaming like for like to buff your physical attack when hyper beam is like special like okay he, like, he, okay he has no actually like useful buffs how about that so uh, that's his number one big issue no self buffs uh, number two is a issue that is a bit more common right a bit more common among strikers uh in, which is you know a lot of strikers they, they, they don't have good sinks their sinks kind of suck uh you saw that with karen houndoom right you saw that with cynthia you saw that with fantina and they fixed those. They fixed those, right? Raihan as well, right? Raihan as well. Uh, so, 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 so they fixed a lot of them. And uh, there, there definitely is hope for Lance on that front. So yeah, that's the second issue. Um, the, 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 no, 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 no sync, sync stuff is not that good. Although he does have like the bait. It's not like terrible, just because he has like really, really high base attack, and he has like six of these nodes. <laughs> <gasps> but it's also not like great either right so that's that's maybe another issue third issue gauges uh he, he's not very fast 269 speed is is not fast at all four gauge hyper beam spammer yes he has one move gate refresh four on hyper beam but uh also no that does not solve this issue <laughs> right so that's third issue gauges Fourth issue, this is, this might be, like, nitpicking at this point, maybe, but maybe the potion thing could be a bit, like, better, or, like, his trainer move could, like, actually be useful, maybe, like, you know. So, the, those, those are the few points that you could probably look to and, and see how that could be uh, improved, right? So, for example, you could combine some of those, you could maybe, all right, make it so that his trainer move has like berserker and what's the other one um berserker, ramp up right berserker ramp up three that would not completely fix but that will fix a lot of of in terms of lance's self buffs right boom this thing gets slapped on with the berserker three and and if you're wondering what didn't you just trash talk mad string two because that's like physical and doesn't do well yeah that's before my hypothetical grid expansion where he could potentially actually get a sync nuke which his sync is physical right so berserker three and and uh, ramp up three would be very very appreciated if not two okay i'll take two i guess um is it still like great not really because you still take you know 50 percent hp to get it but i mean it's better than nothing i guess right um unless they just give him like grand entry like six or something which is probably not happening that's that's way too much uh and then the other thing they, they could do is what they gave n over here which is focus rush um three or was it the other one focus rush three. Oh, by the way oh yeah in yesterday's video i said like uh attack no no he does have to sync with this right but 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 um, so slight correction there on, on yesterday's video, but yeah, uh, he, he they can give him focus rush three, which could give you an excuse to pick up something like burst in, right? 
still slightly sucks because, you know, you can't start hyper beaming as soon as you get in. But, I mean, if, assuming you do have something like Burz, um, is it called Berserker? It's like, like, whatever. The ramp up three or whatever, right? And on your training move, you could double train move, potion, and then sink. Boom, you have, hopefully, if it's three, right? Max crit, max, uh, physical attack, max special attack, and you'll have some HP back <laughs> after the sink. So, that definitely solves that. Um, so, yeah, th um, that's probably, like, maybe best case scenario without going completely crazy like grand entry six or whatever right so that could be an option over there they could have for example the um the 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 what's it called um the ramp up stuff they could have those at like two out of five nodes right because they uh, do keep in mind people say four out of five five out of five yeah but there's also two out of five nodes <laughs> right so the, the 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 ones in between like these two nodes are the two out of five ones so they could have those at two out of five nodes and maybe again the focus rush three as like one of the four out of five nodes and as for some other stuff maybe you could give him i don't know ca catalyze oh catalyzing recovery would be nice right the one where uh, after you heal or, or use a healing move and then like boom you get move gauge acceleration that would be really really good right that would Oh, that works so well. You boom, boom, like you're trying to move twice, you heal back up, and then you still have your, you know, um, cr guaranteed crit next on your sync. And then, like, up here, you have like two sync nuke multipliers, be it like, it could be, a, it could be like Haymaker or, or whatever, right? Like, if they really want just to encourage you to max out his physical attack. <laughs> yeah, like, give him like a Haymaker or something, and like, like, we're good. And the other thing could be like, whatever, honestly. <laughs> that would be, that would, that would be fantastic, I'd say, right? Would it, completely fix Lancer Dragonite? Um, yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, unless you're a bit too greedy and you want extra stuff, but I'd be very satisfied if that was the case. If you give me half of that, I'd still be satisfied. But anyways, that's Lancer Dragonite. Next up, my guy, Steven Stone. I just realized I spent like 10 minutes on Lance. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll try to speed up. But Lance is a special case because Lance needs a lot of stuff, right? Okay, so moving on to Steven Stone. Steven does also have issues, uh, although he is a bit more manageable, right? Um, in comparison to, to uh, again, so something like Lance. He doesn't need, like, as much stuff, uh, but he definitely needs some stuff because, you know, I, again, he's still really, really nice in Gauntlet. Um, but, you know, so some extra buffs here and there would definitely be nice. Uh, one of those things being DPS, right? Steven's DPS is not great. Uh, if you're trying to use, like, because Steven, honestly, as a striker right now, you generally don't really use him as a damage healer, right? Um, his, most of, like, Steven's uses is either use him, like, as a striker steel nuke, which is a striker thing. That's, that's to be fair to Steven, that's totally a striker thing, right? But, but more so, people use him as, like, a physical tank slash flinch bot, right? Because he's, because he could definitely do that. Um, he, he has good physical defense, obviously, he has some buffs there, he has heal on recuperation when, when he sinks, right, so that's all really, really nice, and then obviously with the flinches, um, you know, makes the opponent attack you less, you survive better, so yeah, um, all that stuff is cool, he just needs a bit more damage, as a striker, his DPS is not very good, even in steel zone, I mean, it's not as bad, you know, but... Uh, yeah, some some DPS would definitely be nice. A uh, Furious Brawn would be a really, really easy one to slap on him, I feel like. A uh, really nice one could be something like Defense Crush for him, right? Uh, because if you are uh, running him with, like, other steel units, most steel units, again, outside of Raihan, are almost all exclusively physical, right? So having Defense Crush over here is really nice. And also because he is more of a... He's, he's not like, oh, he comes up and, like... He's not like a Glass Cannon type unit. He's more of a... I mean, it's it's literally a big steel tank bug thing, whatever, right? So, <laughs> uh, usually, if you are, again, using him in Gauntlet or whatever, uh, the battles take a bit longer, so something like Defense Crush would be much, much better on him, right? Like, it doesn't even have to be, like, Defense Crush 9 or, like, even more ridiculous stuff, like, whatever they gave, like, Sing Tzu Mei or, like, Dojo Glory or whatever, right? Just def maybe even, like, Defense Crush 4, I would say, is, is, is solid, and if they want, they could add... An extra multiplier to it like an insult to, uh insult to injury would be nice so like you know two physical move multipliers or if they want to be generous just give them like crit strike three uh but there are some uh, other things that they could also do 
yes, he has self-sufficiency with Bullet Punch, Eagle Eye, and Nine. Uh, no, it's not that great. But they could also, uh, if they don't want to give him, like, better crit buffs, which is totally fine, right? They could just give them, uh, give Steven, like, a bit of a better reason to use uh, Bullet Punch. Because, uh, like, like buffing crit is good and all, but, like, you'd rather just, like, not do that and just have someone else buff his crit generally. So, if you give a better use reason to use Bullet Punch, give Bullet Punch some, like, refreshes, maybe. That could be nice. That could also help sort of fix his other issue, which is he is pretty slow, right? 246 speed, pretty slow speed. And, you know, you want to give him some gauge help. So, any gauge help would also be pretty, uh, pretty nice, right? Maybe Catalyst, although that's not really going to save you in the long run. Or maybe... Um, was a, a, like fast track nine on bullet punch that could definitely be like oh you know because when you're using bullet punches most time when you're out of gauges or uh, uh, you know assuming you don't have uh, you're not using it to buff your crit right uh so a lot of times like maybe that uh, as for some other things in terms of could he get some like tanking help uh maybe maybe something you know if you want to give him like Sir, it has natural remedy maybe like quick cure as well or something healthy healing maybe I suppose could could be something or something else that could buff his like defenses a bit more that could be nice um, if they really want to go crazy because they could definitely go crazy with some of these far to five five or five expansions like they, if they really want to go crazy give them like steel zone on sync hey Steven's the steel champion you know give his Pokemon steel zone on sync is that you know is that too out of the question I mean they gave Raihan sand sync not that it's really comparable but still <laughs> <laughs> right, it's it's not completely out of question. I like five out of five, because that would be something really good <laughs> to to uh, maybe consider, maybe consider. Uh, as much as I don't like the five out of five stuff, but you know, whatever. Right. So yeah, uh, Steve Steven again, mainly DPS. I'd say mainly DPS for him, but again, some gauge help would be nice. Some you know stuff that you could use with bullet punch. Maybe some defense debuffs would be cool. Right. Steel Zone's a bit of a fe fever dream, but. Who knows? Maybe it's not impossible. All right, all right. Next up, we have the man, the myth, the legend, uh, Sun Tzu Red himself. And some people might, you know, say, "Ah, oh, come on. He doesn't really need a grid expansion. He's fine. He's still, you know, he's still very, very meta relevant." And um, I would s just slightly, slightly disagree. Um, not saying, you know, obviously he, he can't be still effective and, and use. I mean, he's still one of the, I'd say, top thirty at least. Right, maybe even higher. Let's see. Probably easily top thirty, you know, damage healers in the game, and 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 that's cool and all. Uh, but you know, he could also get some buffs too. He could also, because uh, there there are uh, quite a few things that he could definitely benefit from um, in his kit. And like, if you do compare him to like some like the more recent fire type damage healers that came out, like in Singsu Hilda or Singsu May or whatever, right? Uh, he's still good, but like, you know, there's there's a bit of a gap now, right? And uh, again, he does have some real issues in his kit that could definitely uh, be addressed, right? Um, the big one, number one issue in his uh, kit is uh, this, this part, uh, this part sucks, this part sucks. We need to find a way to bring this part into somewhere else in his kit where he could get that plus six physical attack before he sinks because uh, a big part of his damage um, is also from his sink nuke, right? With Solar Flare and Haymaker, but the thing is, uh, he is completely self-sufficient on his special damage, right? In terms, or his just damage overall, I guess he only had, well, most of his moves are special unless you're some crazy person trying to flick Flare Blitz, uh, or in the special case scenario where like the opponent's just really you know, resist the special moves, right? But uh, he needs some physical attack buffs, man. He needs physical attack buffs pretty bad uh, because, like, you could say, oh, you know what? Yeah, it's whatever, man. Just, just dire hit plus twice, blast burn, sink, and then after the sink, you use his trainer move twice. No, you do not do that. You do not do that. What are you doing? That's that's that just makes him like. That makes him like even worse than like pre-buff like Karen and Houndoom right because 
because uh, again, sync moves are, are very, 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 very valuable nowadays, right? With uh, the amount of things that some units can do with their syncs, right? You do not want to be wasting a sync like that just so he could max that out, just so he could get Haymaker on the by the second sync. And like after your first sync, you're spending two turns not using Blast Burn, which he has some really, really good damage on that Blast Burn. So no, 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 do not do that. That is terrible, 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 terrible. Terrible, unless you're trying to like gauntlet and like save as many units as you want, as, as you as, as, as you can. Then okay, but like outside of those extreme gauntlet scenarios, uh, he needs those physical attack buffs somehow, right? Because again, he already maxes out his crit. He already maxes out his um, special attack and also speed too, and it's just it's just a waste, man. It's a complete waste, right? If if you just have to bring another physical like support and it has to be a max physical support too yeah you, you know i mean you don't have to but like if you want max out haymaker um you have to bring another physical support to buff a unit that otherwise would already have his own stats buffed out or or, or um maxed out right so that really really sucks he really needs some way to uh, max out his physical attack before he gets his first sink in right or else he's just really just not relevant um in comparison to modern day you know damage dealers right so that is a huge 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 issue that he definitely would really like that fix if you get that get that fixed that'll be fantastic in terms of like any other stuff if they do want to go crazy they could go like they could go because you know that's their guy right sings of reds it's like the mascot like the, the, the game right so if they do want to give them some special treatment right they could get they could go crazy and give them the chris and for alligator treatment and just give them like another sync doom player because this guy can max out his own speed, right? <laughs> you, you see where I'm uh, where I'm going with this one? Boom, just give him inertia. Haymaker and inertia and a way to max out Haymaker before he sinks. That's going to be, like, ludicrous. Ludicrous amounts of, like, striker AoE nuke damage. That would be, that would go, like, absolutely nuts. If they really wanted to go crazy with this guy, they could do that. If they wanted to go slightly less crazy, they could do something like grabbing speed. Although that's still, like, really, really good. Right, so you know, maybe something like grabbing speed. I just hope they don't do something lame, like what they did with like Ly Lysander, just to oh, because he debuffs his own defense, special defense. We're gonna give him like something that, you know, makes him buff his defenses instead. It's like okay, that's nice for Lysander because Lysander's a legit tank. He's what what is it doing on Charizard? Who cares? <laughs> or are they throwing like Rock Guard on? Him? Like please, please, <laughs> like. He, this guy is here to uh, to obliterate the opponent as fast as possible. Let's let's not let's not like do that stuff, please. Uh, I, I I guess um, if they also wanted to, they could like give Charizard X the Charizard Y stuff and give him like Solarize to give him like Sun on Sync, which is again slightly cheating because that's like Charizard Y's thing, but. <laughs> Uh, I suppose they could do that, but in terms of, like, other stuff, again, he just has those, like, that one major issue, right? Because, like, otherwise, this unit is fine. Just that one, really, you know, issue, and uh, everything else is just little stuff on the side that you could maybe give him or, or, or not, right? Like, hostile environment, maybe? I don't know. They'll be, it would not be great, but, like, they could, I could totally, I could totally see them doing this. They're just giving, like, hostile environment, Right, so you like try to burn on Heat Wave and then give him like burn synergy three or something, which would kind of suck, honestly. <laughs> but we'll see. Oh, you know what would really suck if his like grid expansion is mostly focused on like trying to make like um a flare blitz not take himself. <laughs> that would be terrible, but yeah, yeah. Ho hopefully, he just gets some physical attack buffs, man. Um, bare minimum, give him physical attack buffs if they want to go crazy give them inertia <laughs> right they want to go even crazier right give them like sun on sync or whatever but uh yeah uh that's that's things who read next up on the list we have things cynthia and kamoa which is a bit of a problematic unit as well right um kamoa's issues are she does have like quite a few different issues but if she does have those issues fixed she could definitely be very 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 good because um it, in terms of like what issue she doesn't have is a uh, damage her damage is pretty good right all by the way but still right uh her damage is pretty fine so she doesn't really have to worry too much about damage maybe they can give her like a better sync nuke they could give her a bit of a sync nuke qualifier if you really want i suppose 
Uh, so sure, if you want to go that route, they could maybe give her. I I don't know. Brain brain teaser? No. Ah, what? Catastrophe? I I don't even know. <laughs> um, just just don't be the 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 the, the what's it called the shock. Um, uh, static shock. Don't give her more static shock. Hopefully, <laughs> just give her like um. Just a just a regular two times multi. Not I'm saying like regular to like 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 it's a thing they could just throw out obviously those are very 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 powerful right oh yeah just give her more incentive to sync because she does have incentive to sync in the first place with her um buffs right on like high five so just give her more incentive to sync and that incentive being damage because her sync nuke damage is not very good right so that that is like one thing they could do like damage wise but again she doesn't have too much like dps issues um but her biggest issue is speed her biggest issue is speed. Her speed is atrociously bad. Her speed is very, very... 205 speed. That's gotta be, like... Like, outside of, like, some of those, like, Alola guys, that might be one of the worst. This might be... She might be the slowest four... I, like, I've not fact-checked this at all, but, like... <laughs> might be the slowest four-gauge move, 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 uh... Damage dealer, like, in the game. This is so bad, right? So, gauges. Number one thing with... Kamoa. Nothing else is close. Gauges. Please. Oh my god. Give her gauges. Um, somehow, right? Whether it's, um, whether it's, uh, Catalyst, but, like, after every single sync, <laughs> right? So it's not, like, the first time, like, after every single sync, that, 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 that would help. Give her, like, two move gauge refresh nines, maybe, on clanking scales, I suppose. Um... I don't even know, man. Um, just, or, or like, whatever, guaranteed gauge back stuff. <sighs> yeah, this is, this is, this is tough. Fuel economy? Could they even do that? I don't even know if they could do that. But, <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll take fuel economy. Not that it's like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> then she becomes a three gauge move user with 205 base speed. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah, that's, that's definitely going to be an issue. Um, maybe they could give her an extra high five one because like if they do give her like three high five or uh, three high five ones right uh, one on passive two on grid that's like plus three on every stat per sync so you get like plus six on well not every stat but like you know I, it's wait it's like no evasion right and and accuracy yeah yeah so like in two sinks you got like plus six on all that which would actually be pretty nice um, I suppose and you know add that up with a sync nuke uh, as well, and 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 you're uh, you're 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 good to go. The other thing is this thing, right? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, this is not good. This is not because you want you want your sync maxed out like as soon as possible, and this does the exact opposite of that, right? It's like oh, the lower your HP is, the more it buffs your crit. Well, damn. By then, like the 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 battle is over, so. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know, maybe give her a better way of, of, of buffing her crit over here as well. Maybe just give her, like, crit, um, what's that thing called again? The the one that buffs, uh, just give her, like, plus, extra plus two crit on this, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, just give her some crit buffs. High five one would be extra. A sync nuke would be nice, right? But main thing is gauges, right? I don't care how you get that. Gauges, it's like, do you want to give her two move gauge refresh nines? Do you want to give her move gauge acceleration after every single sync? Do you want to give her, um, I don't even know, like, plus six speed to her entire team on entry, which is insane, but there, there, there are some options, you know, you guys can pick. One thing I don't really want to see is them trying to, like, fix this defense issue for, like, clanging skills. Oh, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend this, half of this expanded grid trying to fix her defense debuffs. No, please don't do that. <laughs> like, does the defense debuffs kind of suck? Yeah, but on the other hand, if they give her a high 5-1, that will completely fix the issue, right? Because every single sync, you're getting plus 3 defense back, and if you're using clanging skills 3 times, right, in between sinks, that's, like, net neutral on defense. Like, okay, it kind of sucks you're not getting more defenses, but you're at net neutral defense, so it wouldn't matter that much unless you just get caught in, like, a bad timing. Like, you're literally right before you sink, the opponent throws out, like, a earthquake at you and they're like okay that would kind of suck but generally it's not that big of an issue right just fix your speed please everything else would be extra maybe give her a bit of a nuke but 
Everything else would be extra. Also crit stuff, please. But, um, please, please. Speed, speed, gauges. Uh, moving on, uh, should we, should we do Sing Su Blue, or should we skip Sing Su Blue? I feel like, because he already had his grid expanded, it's like the horizontal one, which... It's, it's not, like, exactly the same, because he didn't get, like, the, um, the free stat nodes. And, you know, some of these, it, these are high-cost, um, nodes, right? Because the, the horizontal ones that a lot of other, those spotlights have been getting are, are low-cost nodes, right? Uh, you know what? Okay, let's, let's do Sing Su Blue real quick. Cause yeah he yeah he he definitely needs some help here as well. Um, he has a few major issues um, that you do kind of want to address as well. Uh, the first one being he's not a good support. <laughs> he's a good tank, but you know not all tanks are supports, right? Uh, he's, he's he's a fine tank at the moment, but he could definitely he could definitely be better in terms of like. Uh, at least offensively, like, as an offensive support. Um, because he has this, but this is very, very, very slow. So if there's, like, some other way of buffing, you know, teammates' uh, offenses, like, maybe give her, give him, like, another one? Like, like another team shout? No, I, <laughs> is, that, is that too much to ask? I don't know. Um, but, yeah, that maybe could be nice. Uh, I, I, uh, I suppose maybe, like, rain on sing because that's the thing with blastoise right now because um blastoise like this unit you don't really run like unless you don't have you know uh, better units right uh but in best case scenarios like like his best position is in a rain team um just so he could also provide some extra damage with his hydro cannon as the support on some like low cost support ish rain teams um, although even in, like, a lot of those cases, probably still not that great. I guess he's good on, he's good on, like, Vaporeon and May teams, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kyogre, mm -hmm. Kyogre to an extent, right? Um, yeah, Ky Kyogre too, but, like, not so much on, like, you don't really want to run him on a Chris, SS Chris team, right? For example. But, yeah, um... Mm, yeah, uh, I guess setting rain himself would be nice because he does have a lot of rain nodes. Uh, but I'm not sure if they're gonna do that because like they didn't give Sing Suit Leaf setting grassy terrain on her Sing, so I'm not sure if they're gonna give like red and blue the same, you know, the, like weather on Sync over here. But yeah, uh, he, the main thing with him is just please like buff offenses better. Please don't take you know seven turns to get like plus three special attack if you're lucky or whatever um that would be nice in terms of like any other stuff it would be cool if he could get um some better special defense buffs for the team as well again he has this but that's also that's even worse than the team shout right just overall his like all this stuff is just really bad um or, or i guess the bat's not like the great term it's just like very it, it's just all very very slow uh, which, if you compare it to, like, modern day, modern day supports, right? Like, that's just not really up to standard um, for, for the most part. So just give him, like, better offensive buffs. Uh, he definitely needs that. If they want to give him, like, DPS as well, I, I guess, sure. <laughs> More damage on the Hydro Cannons. Because, <laughs> again, he could do some damage on these Hydro Cannons. It is still a Hydro Cannon, and, like, if they want... With the extra, where is it? He's like Raging Rain 3. Give him like, I don't know, tough, tough, another tough cookie? Or, oh no, he didn't know. The one he has is smart. So yeah, like, give him like tough cookie. I don't know. I don't I don't really care too much about his like extra. Actually, I take that back. Extra damage would make him a bit more relevant, right? If you're, for example, if you're trying to pick a unit to run with in, in, a, um, in a Mega Swamper team, right? Then he would maybe go up the, uh, the, the pecking order a few probably still not be a number one yeah that's 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 the issue with him right now right he's a poke fair support but he's like there's no team that he's like a number one option on basically right um so yeah maybe maybe some damage would help him a bit again the offensive buffs would be really 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 clutch if he could get some of that defensively he's fine i don't really feel like he needs too much defensive stuff he's, sorry, he's pretty again maybe if he want want to give him better like uh, f uh special defense buffs that's fine but otherwise yeah he's all right he's all right on on that front it's more so offensively you know 
better stuff there would be cool. Maybe some more speed stuff. But he does have, like, Pep Rally on his, like, move that gives, like, move gauge salary. So it's not that bad. It's not great, but it's not that bad, okay? Next up, Alder Volcarona. Alder Volcarona um, has a pretty, I would say, relatively simple-ish fix, uh, which is turn Alder into a physical damage healer, so he could actually run good with uh, SE and I'm kidding, no, not really, <laughs> but um, yeah, Alder, Alder Volcarona doesn't really need that much. I mean, if you want to, like, look at, he, like, he he's more similar to, like, Sing Su Red, right, in terms of he's self-sufficient, um, his damage is fine, right? His sync is not like crazy good, but it's generally fine as well, right? Uh, but he does have the one same issue with Sync to Red, which is uh, getting his Sync Nuke Multipliers up is not easy, right? Devastation over here. And this he this might be a bit harder for him um, than it would be for Sync to Red, because Sync to Red is a... Uh, his multiplier is positive stat buffs and his is negative, you know, debuffing on the opponent. Um, because first few turns, you're probably just trying to buff your own, you know, you're spending, you're, you're on, you're using these two moves, right? Um, three times with a dire hit plus twice. So you don't actually have time to like, even if they give him something like satisfied, like if, even if they give him like six satisfied snarls, right? Okay, maybe you could try and be lucky and like not do one extra target plus just get like minus six in there instantly but yeah um basically just make it make it so that he could debuff the opponent's special attack um reliably and and fast hopefully minus two per turn and um never touch have to tr touch struggle bug because struggle bug sucks again it's the same thing with lance right do not use dragon claw when this is a hyper beam spammer okay uh, make it so that when he's attacking with Hyper Beam, he could also debuff the opponent's special attack uh, as well. Or they could also make up for it where they give him, um, uh, what's, what's, was it Brain Power or whatever? Like, the special attack version of Haymaker, right? So, yeah, he won't get Devastation there, but at least he'll, he, you know, you make sure he'll get that uh, at least a two-time Sync Nuke Multiplier on his first Sync um, without, ex uh, without external help, right? Just you know kind of like the sing Su red fix because sing Su red's fix is all right let me let uh, like he already has this multiplier let me just fulfill these multipliers and um all there is he has this multiplier but you can't really do much with it let's just give him another multiplier that he could instantly fulfill right so maybe give him something like that could could be nice uh instead in terms of like any other stuff they can make him a bit of a support-ish, because I know, yeah, he's a striker, but, like, if, like, Alder is a character, he's a pretty, you know, old, wise guy who gives advice to a younger trainer, <laughs> so, yeah, make him a support-ish, and maybe, for example, have Alder give him, like, Pep Rally or something, or, or you know, Team Fast Rack 9 on, on, on Hyper Beam or something, that, that could be nice, that could be nice. Maybe they could also give him a mind game to debuff uh, opponent's special defense as well. To make up for the fact that... <laughs> Bug zone. <laughs> Anyways. So, yeah, that, that could be something. That could be something um, they could do. Uh, but yeah, just mainly either give him ways to debuff opponent's special attack on his hyper beam. Or give him another sync nuke multiplier that doesn't really require him to do anything in the first three turns. Other than his, you know, just buffing himself. And if you want, give give him some extra support stuff, but generally, you know, he's okay-ish, right? All right, next up we have Glorianization. And uh, remember when I said uh, Lance is probably like the second worst grid here? Um, yeah, because the, the worst one is probably like Glorious. Again, you could maybe say, oh, man, yeah, come on, Glorious is better than Lance. I don't know. I feel like Lance is, I feel like Lance's grid is a bit better because like at least Lance has like, like he has stuff like rejuvenate. Not that he sinks too much, but like you know, healthy healing is all right. MP or two MP or fresh twos on the potion is, is is cool and all. And like, what does she have? <laughs> move gauge refresh nine on move gauge boost. Two, two move gauge refresh twos on Behemoth Blade. Okay, head start one. Okay, uh, uh, okay. Depending on the team comp. Um, Zacians could be better, right? Uh, if you are on a, a team comp where you could actually utilize the single move countdown from either her head start or um, adrenaline, 
right? Then 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 she would definitely be better, have the better grid. But if you don't, then yeah, I don't know. I think I like glances a bit better, but yeah, they're they're both pretty bad. Point being, so all right, Gloria and Zacian. Uh, how do we fix Gloria and Zacian? Well, uh, Gloria and Zacian uh, also has a lot of issues. Uh, although unlike Lance. Uh, Speed is not one of those. She has 427 speed. Could she get more gauge stuff? Yeah, every unit could use more gauge stuff, I guess. Because um, it's not like it's perfect. She doesn't actually have speed buffs. It's just like good base speed. And like, there's like two move gauge refreshes on Behemoth Blade and an extra move gauge refresh on her, um, on her passive, which is good enough it's not like crazy also move gauge boost but <laughs> yeah um that, that 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 could could be like something maybe uh but out, outside of that um you kind of want right uh you kind of want better uh self buffs right for uh, for one she only has like this is not good you you don't want to rely on that uh, you, you definitely do want um maybe some way to max that out maybe another fierce entry too or I don't know, Berserker 2 on laser sharp focus or something. But, or if you really want to make it annoying, then put it on like move gauge boost, which would suck, but oh well, I guess. <laughs> uh, but yeah, just some way to maybe max out her physical attack. Uh, but if you don't want to max out the physical attack, and by you, I mean whoever's designing this on DNA was probably not watching. But <laughs> if, if they do want to, um, you know, if, if, if they don't want to do that, they could like do the crit max maxing out thing instead, right? Which would be which would be which would be better in my opinion. I'd take the maxed out crit over the maxed out physical attack, right? So they could do something like that. As for the other big issue that she has, and this is an issue that uh, Lance does not have, which is her damage is not good, right? Her damage is pretty terrible. Um, especially, it's not as bad after the opponent sinks, but it's really bad if the opponent doesn't sink. It is pretty, it's pretty bad if the opponent doesn't sink, right? Um, and less bad in seal zone, but still. And, and, and the main thing is, it's not that big of a deal in Legendary Gauntlet, but in Master Mode, you, if you're, you're trying to do 2k, you generally don't want the opponent to sink, because unless you're running it like a super, super tanky team, uh, almost every single time, if you let the opponent sink, you're, it's game over, right? It wipes out everyone on your team. So you don't want your opponent to, uh, to, to sink, so you gotta give her some damage, right but like like that 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 like that that she could get um without having you know the opponent sink uh right so they, they could even like sunset it right give her like okay just give her the 50 percent, some 50 percent multiplier and then like turn it into oh but if the opponent like sinks this buff is like gone which okay which is not like a great buff, cause like overall, like she just does like regular post sync behemoth blade damage all the time, which is good. What? Which is good, but it's not like you know anything like crazy in terms of damage. Uh, but or they could just slap on like a fifty percent damage boost regardless, which would be better. <laughs> they could also give her sync nuke stuff. Her sync nuke is also um, not not good at all, right? So again, maybe like a haymaker over here. Would be cool. Please don't give her power. Um, what's it called? Pecking order. Oh my god! Don't give her pecking order just because she has like a chance to debuff bonus of physical attack on player. But yeah, yeah. Her her fixes are relatively simple-ish. Just maybe some more self sufficiency and some damage because her damage is bad, right? Uh, again, pre opponent sinking damage is bad, basically. So. All right, only uh, two more left over here. Uh, Champion Iris is the next one, I suppose. So Champion Iris, uh, Champion Iris, man. Okay, one thing that she could definitely have is uh, th th that could be really, really good. Is self buffs definitely? I mean, everyone would be nice if they max out their own stats. Not that it's like a must. I mean, yeah, you could just run supports there. Uh, but like for for Champion Iris, I feel like especially it will be especially nice for her because she is a uh, offensive debuffer, right? So like sometimes, like for example, if you're running her in, in Gauntlet, being the offensive debuffer that she is, you can maybe be a bit lighter on your support. Maybe your support doesn't have to be like a massive tank. It could just be like you know a bit of a weaker support. Um, but then you know maybe sometimes those units might not max out her stats. Although. 
most times if the support is not good a, a good tank they're generally usually a decent offensive buffer <laughs> with some exceptions uh but yeah uh, maxing out her own stats would definitely be nice um the other thing would be uh, this would kind of suck because like that like it, in a way just because it, it's like completely almost invalidates her own playstyle but her playstyle is just not good right because she could actually do some legitimate like damage on her dragon rush but you almost never see her doing dragon rush because she's just like breaking swipe snarl breaking swipe snarls for like she has to do that six turns to get and you know um minus six on on, on the opponent for both both uh the, the the multipliers right so maybe instead of that just move the attack and special attack debuffing onto like dragon rush so instead of like using snarl and breaking swipes to do like 521 damage each turn you could throw it on dragon rush which is a much much more powerful move it also has the flinch chance which is also really really good and cool right and speaking of the flinch chance give her aggravation why not aggravation it's 20 percent base give her like aggravation too that'd be really really good aggravation two on dragon rush and give her like um you know minus attack and minus special attack on her dragon rush that'd be really really good that'd be fantastic you know what if they if they give that to her i i, I won't even ask for the like self buffs <laughs> honestly <laughs> you just give that to her and and she's gonna be fantastic man because again her big issue like good sync nuke right the debuffs are good but she it just really really sucks when she has a really you know really nice move over here right again that could do some solid damage but also give you the flinch thing right and then like you just never get to use it but like imagine you just have that you could f have the chance to flinch every turn do some actual like real damage at the same time not losing out on your debuffs right that would be just fantastic but the probably not gonna happen because that just completely like like invalidates her playstyle i guess which maybe they don't want because then then you'll just have like two useless moves well they're not completely useless like if you're out of gauges you can still use them it's like two gauge move but... <laughs> yeah uh, i don't really feel like she needs any other stuff if they really want to go crazy they give her like defense crush would be really really nice as well but you know i don't i don't really care too much about that just just give her the um the thing all right just 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 make dragon rush her, her main move and and you know it's 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 it's, it's her dragon rush is like um LRAGL Gohan's like, transformation, bro. <laughs> you never see it happening. Alright, all right, last last one for this video. Diantha and Mega Gardevoir. Diantha and Mega Gardevoir. What possibly could we do for her? Well, uh, number one, uh, speed. Gauges. Her gauges are not that great, especially since she is a unit with hit the gas, right? So, like, her Moonblast already, like, is like a four gauge move. And she's a 268 base speed unit that's not very good her gauges are pretty bad so giving her it's not like as bad as some of the other units we've seen before but it's still not great right so just give her some gauges stuff that would definitely be nice the other thing is the same issue she uh or uh, alder has right because she does have this nuke and devastation and you kind of want to sync with her just so you get mega garver at least i mean it would be cool you don't like have to have but like it's an extra 50 percent over here on top of the uh, stat buffs that she gets right so it's 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 a it's it's a decent mega to get into right but again it's the same issue with something like cynthia right yeah 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 she is very 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 similar to cynthia uh in, in a sense or like pre-buffed cynthia right where um not definitely not a unit that you have to mega right like karen houndoom like most of the time you'd just be better off syncing with the uh, ex support right especially if you're running multiple damage dealers on your team sync with the ex support is just better than getting mega gardevoir out there um uh, but yeah uh yeah but she's different in the sense that cynthia just straight up didn't have multipliers she does have a multiplier but again it's the older <laughs> issue right where like the first few turns you're gonna be die hit plusing and then like using this trainer move uh, which also could use a few buffs as well maybe give her like sharp entry would be nice so you don't have to use dar hit because that's like this is this is a for four turn setup right so like sharp entry so um you only have to use dar hit plus their ones and then like m m m maybe give her like plus like ramped up on this as well 
maybe I don't know that might be a bit too much to ask it's not that much to ask I don't feel like but you know ramp up on here would be nice as well so she can max out her stats and then again I guess the same solution with Alder could be something like just slap her on with like a different sync nuke multiplier on on the first sync right and give her a way to debuff the opponent's special attack afterwards right or more effective way I guess actually does she she doesn't even debuff it up oh well moon blast never mind yeah no she has moon blast but yeah that 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 would probably uh, uh, be a way of doing it and um actually give moon blast like a real chance of debuffing bones special attack not like 30 percent on roll two would be ideal but i i could live with on roll one i suppose uh but yeah otherwise otherwise mm, yeah the rest is fine her dps is fine she doesn't need too much help on the dps and although again if they wanna i mean sure <laughs> I won't refuse, but yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's mainly the the sync thing and just the, the 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 buffs over here, and also make her debuff a bit better. That would be nice, I feel right. So, <laughs> anyways, that's me in this one. I guess hope you all enjoy. Guys, think in the comments down below. Let me know what what uh, changes you guys would want to see, right? If uh, if you agree with any of the stuff I've mentioned here, or if you have any different ideas, right? You can throw them out um, down below. So yeah, um, yeah, most if not all. Of these units would uh, definitely would definitely appreciate a bit of a glow up right i'd say like i really yeah there's no unit here that is like totally fine right now all right but uh yeah yeah and uh, hopefully more of their grids would be similar to the ones that they gave you know um like raihan or or or, or, or zekrom and, and less like marnie and sing su leaf hopefully <laughs> i guess like one more thing if you want to go insane over here is like have her also set fairies on, on sync as well but they probably don't want to do that like the the con the combo of like dual mega gardevoir just works so well so all right have fun folks and uh yeah i'll uh, see you guys in the next one then